Thanks for getting me a drink. Well, I didn't know what you wanted. Did you get any responses? One of your chef mates must need a job. I had a lack of replies now, although Zahir did offer. He's a car salesman. He probably thinks a Michelin star is a type of tyre. <laughs> you got a job going? Well, my services might be available, but I don't come cheap, mind. We're looking for someone with experience. Sorry. Since when was pouring curry sauce over chips not experience? And I'll have you know, plenty of people have been more than happy to wrap the lips around my boona. <laughs> I just threw up in my mouth a little. Uh, just a cup of tea when you've got a moment. Yeah, well, you'll have to wait a bit. I need to go upstairs and get some more balms. If it was between her and Naveed, I'd choose Naveed. I still can't believe you fired him. It was moonlighting. Grand deserves more loyalty than that. No, what Grand deserves is an easy life. No unnecessary stress. But you should have consulted us before making such a big decision. We'll find someone else and make that money back. I'm here now. It isn't all on you. Well, good. We're going to need you to prep vegetables. I'm a chef, not a sous chef. Uh, Grand's cooking. I'm front of house. And you'll be peeling, slicing and dicing whatever I tell you to. Whatever you say, boss. It's in. The review is in. At least she liked the food. And if we'd actually had some customers, it'd be a great review. And serving homeless people made us sound generous. She said we had less atmosphere than a funeral parlour. People dine out for the experience. It takes more than good food to get them through the door. But we can build on this. Take the positives. And that's why you are in trouble. You're too passive. People take advantage. Debbie needs to pay for it. No, Zidane, going in all guns blazing will not help anyone. Put your thinking cap on. There's more than one way to pluck a chicken. Yeah, Gran's right. The last thing we need is a trade war with the bistro. All right, whatever you say. Apparently, I'm just the guy who chops the veg. Pavesh, I was always impressed by his karai. Last I heard, he moved to Australia. And the special, who is going to make the marinade for the for the mutton nihari without Naveed? Look, don't worry about it. I know the recipe. I've been watching him make it for ages. Clever girl. But I... I wish we didn't have to replace him. I know what he did was wrong, but we all make mistakes. Grant, this is our restaurant. If we both want him back, just call him. You know what? You are right. If we want him back, Zidane will just have to deal with it. Bailout or no bailout. You leave Zidane to me. A few days of peeling spuds and he'll learn not to make any more big decisions without us. Right. I'll... I'll call Naveed and ask him back nicely. Just don't let him talk you into a pay rise. Hmm. What on earth is that noise? Oh, I don't know. I'm going to go get them to stop while you call Naveed. Think. Please tell me you haven't bought it. I wish. No, it's a rental. Remember our first one? Uh, my leg does. That clutch was stiffer <laughs> than a brick. You see? Happy memories. This is going to be fun. What are you up to? Trust me, yeah? Zidane, I ain't got time for this. Are you in or out, yes or no? Well, I'm in, but this better not have anything to do with starting a war with Debbie Webster. <sighs> my dear Badgie, it isn't about war, it's about respect. And she will start showing us some. Debbie's not gonna like this. See? It's not as aggressive as you thought. It's a proportionate response. I know, and I'm shocked. It's a warning shot. What are you playing at? Half price, I'll lose sorg, Debs. It's Debbie to you. Move this van. Now. Nah, I like it part here. Good view of the street. Right. I'm calling the authorities. I bet you don't have a license for this truck, do you? Eh? It's a public hazard. So is that sour look on your face. Have you got a license for that? You seem to be good at making calls, like all those fake bookings you made to us last night. I won't ask you again. Oh, go on. I love hearing you beg. <laughs> and you're going to let him get away with this, are you? Oh, after your shady antics. 100%. Right. Glad to have me back, yet. Yeah? We like to keep it a nice, relaxed, atmosphere here. Yeah, our locals like it. 
Oh, I see him. Glad you're back. Well, I can't stop. I just came to get more food. They are loving it. Well, everyone except Debbie. Oh, you should have seen her face. It was a picture. Uh, your friend's here. You haven't told me yet how you know Z, then. I once tried to teach him a lesson, but he didn't listen. We worked together in a restaurant. Oh, uh, well, he... He's always been a bit stubborn when it comes to his cooking. <laughs> Your lovely grandmother's been telling me wonderful things about you. So much I never knew. She said you were working nearby, but I thought I'd stay here and surprise you. Yeah, what a lovely surprise. <laughs> yes, mean this place is wonderful. Ah, oh, I wish you'd written our latest review in the paper. I would have given you five stars for the food. You're too kind. Z, um, I'll rustle up some more food to take to Alia. You catch up with your friend. We certainly have a lot to talk about. Good. See ya. I thought I sent you a clear message. You mean you want to be gangster sons knocking lumps out on me? That was a parting gift. I can't say I'm sorry to lose you as a son-in-law. You were never worthy. But I couldn't let you leave without making my feelings known. They delivered the message loud and clear. So now you can go. And you don't even ask how Mariam is. You should be doing far better off without me. Well, at least we can agree on that. Look, I'm busy. So should we call it a day? You gave me a beating. We're even. If the beating was for leaving my daughter, tell me what punishment is appropriate for you stealing 50,000 pounds of my money? I don't know what you're talking about. I stole nothing. Don't treat me like a fool because we both know I'm not. The beating you took, that was for disrespecting my daughter. But yesterday I was checking the accounts and I find you stole my money too. I took what was mine. Yours? When I signed the marriage certificate, I wasn't signing on for slave labor. What fantasy world are you living in? Well, you're the one living in a fantasy if you thought you could get away with not paying me for working in your stupid restaurant 24 seven. I took what I was owed. You know, there's a part of me that quite admires the way you did it. Slowly, slowly, very smart. But the other part of me, well, that part thinks you were very stupid to think you can get away with it. Very stupid. So where is it? I don't have it. I, uh, I don't have it. This place, my grand needed. Ah, but I'm guessing she doesn't know you rescued her business with stolen money, my money which I suppose makes us partners. No, no, it doesn't. Look, you're right, she doesn't know. Well, if you want to keep it that way, I guess you're gonna to have to find my money from elsewhere. Where am I supposed to find 50? That's not my problem. You're clearly more resourceful than I gave you credit for. So, 50,000 pounds by the end of the day. Oh, there you are. I'm totally out of everything. It's brilliant. Are you okay? How many more times do you two need telling? I'm warning you, if you don't shift this cafe on wheels, I'm calling the council. Thing is, we don't respond very well to being told anything by you. Excuse me. You need to watch your little young lady. Bye. Me up a bit. Well, you seem to be doing all right on your own, and to be honest, maybe she's got a point. A point? What point? Look, we've got our own back, yeah? What we don't need is the local council on our backs or a fine we can't afford to pay. We're in enough financial trouble as it is. Who thought you'd turn out to be the sensible one? To be honest, I was ready to stick it out and properly get our own back on her, but Z was the voice of reason. Really? I know. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Debbie can be a tricky customer. Mm. At least she knows now not to mess with us again. No, like I said, it would just be a short-term loan. <sighs> yeah, yeah, no problem. Cheers. Hey, Z. I was just saying to Alia about Debbie. You did the right thing. I am proud of you. Ah, Waltz is back in and already he's the golden child. Right, by Doctor Street. It's parked outside the bistro. Okay, cheers. Sorted. Hello! 
It's still there. If you're talking about the food truck, they've just arranged for it to be collected. Oh, have they? Because I wouldn't put anything past these two. You say that like we woke up and decided to annoy you for no reason. You stole our chef. You ruined our tasting night. That's just business. We are business people too. And you showed absolutely no regard for what failure might mean for us, for our livelihood, our future. These two are young people striving to make their way in the world. And with the greatest respect. Yeah, I, right. Yeah. You are right. I was wrong. I apologize. Like, that makes it all okay. Alia. Look, there's room for both of us, right? Z? Agreed. And for what it's worth, I thought your truck was a stroke of genius. <laughs> You'll go far. But remember, I've got a hotline to the licensing department if it's not gone in an hour. She is a piece of work. The important thing is that we live to fight another day. And there are onions and a chopping board with my name on them. You, my friend, were a wuss. Yeah, well, if you've got time for more mind games, be my guest. I don't. Hey, I'm not the one you should be angry with. How long does it take to have one conversation? You tell your grandmother and your sister you need your money back. You know I can't do that. See, this is what I always liked about you. You're a family man. What a pity that loyalty didn't extend to your wife. Or to me. I'll get you your money. I just need time. I would guess you do not have a list of people on that phone of yours who would be prepared to hand over 50,000 pounds, no matter how much time I gave you. In which case, you're going to have to face the consequences. Although, it seems a shame. Pretty boy like you. And in any case, where would that leave me? Still 50,000 pounds out of pocket. There is no way you can take a share of my family's business. A place like that holds no interest for me. Not directly, anyway. What does that mean? I'm prepared to write off your debt. And in return? Always one step ahead, that's good. In return, I would like to push some of my money through speed dial. What does that even mean? <sighs> you want me to launder your money? I can't, I don't even do the accounts. You're extremely resourceful. And the fact you managed to steal my money for so long, well, that shows you know what you're doing. But where does it come from? The less you know, the better. I, I can't. You can. And you will. Here he is. The worker. Our saviour. Too much? Okay, before I forget, uh, Debbie called by to thank you for getting that truck collected. I think you've got a new fan there. Fancy cup of tea? No, I'm fine. Um, if I might proffer some grandmotherly advice. That woman is trouble. And um, we have certainly had more than our fair share of that lately, eh? Huh? I know. It's so good to have you back. Gran, about the money. I... You, my beautiful boy, have saved us. And Alia and I both owe you a great deal. That's Debbie, do not answer it. I just need to take this. <sighs> Hello. Well, and before answering, I'd remind you of exactly what's at stake. 